Okay, cool. So we've gone through the UI. So the first thing we need to do is load our image sequence. So up here at the top left, we have our image sequence camera, sequence one. And all we need to do is select that, go over to our attribute editor, you see live action footage, select browse, and then you want to navigate to, just bring this over, navigate to your uh, image sequence. So mine's here, 3D equalizer demo, and click OK. So now you can see we've loaded it in. We've got our image sequence. It's kind of choppy. It's not very quick and it's dark because our image sequence we've created is in a linear color space. You might not have done this. It might just be in an SJRB or a Rec 709 what, or whatever. Ours is in a linear color space. So we need to convert, do a, like a gamma conversion for it. So the first thing that we want to do is you see that we've loaded it in here. Don't really need to change anything here. We can change our FPS because we know that's 25. Don't need to change anything else. But if we go to our 8-bit color conversion here, it changes 2.2, and now we're sorted. So that's pretty much it. But our next thing that we've probably got issues is where it's a bit choppy, because we need to cache out our image sequence. Let's go right to F2, because we're currently in our distortion. So to cache it out, you just go to playback and export buffer compression file. And that's opened up a window somewhere else. I've just clicked it twice. It should come up, depends on it, and I'll just overwrite. It's super quick. Then if I import buffer compression file, it'll import that cache. And now I can play through, press spacebar, and it'll play through. And we can see Pickleless Cage and Shrek Duck in their greatest of all glory. And that's pretty much it for loading it, caching it, and setting your gamma conversion for a linear color space. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.